In this video, we are going to learn how to get an instance of the iConfiguration service in the new template of Xperonet Core Web APIs application. So let me create a new project, a Web API. Let me say here Web API. Let me double click on this. I will leave this name. Next, I will use .NET 6 and let me click on create. The issue is that now we don't have a startup class, but instead we have only a program class and from there we have to work. So let me go to the solution explorer and let's go to the program class. As you can see, this is a top level statement, which means that we don't have a class explicitly declared here. So what we can do then is to take this builder and let me come here and let me say provider equal to builder services build service provider i need to build the service provider because from there i will be able to get the instance of the i configuration service so let me say configuration equal to provider get required service i configuration and that's it with this i have an instance of the i configuration service what can i do with it well we can get information from a configuration provider here in our program class. For example, let's go to the Solution Explorer and one example of a configuration provider is our appsettings.json file. In here, I can put something like name and I will put my name, Felipe, Felipe. Then I can come here and I can say bar name equal to configuration get value a string and let me say here name semicolon here now let me put a breakpoint here let me press f5 to run my application in debugging mode and in here we're going to have name felipe as you can see we have felipe here which means that now we are able to get an instance of the i configuration service from here this is useful when you need to get some information from your configuration provider from a configuration provider like app settings, just so you don't have to hard code a value here.